Hey, it's Tara. I'm talking today about bad choices. We all make them. Here's one of the reasons why. One of the biggest reasons why we make bad choices in our lives is because we are very reactive right now. We have been conditioned by everything around us to be very quick in our response to things and things happen quickly so we feel like there's a demand to respond quickly. We've become very reactive and that reactivity really comes from an activated nervous system and that initiation of a fight or flight response. That's where anxiety comes from. It's fight or flight that doesn't get completed because it's irrational because we're not being chased by bears most of the time and needing to save our lives. So we have this process going on and we really need to be able to notice in our own bodies when we're starting to become activated, when we start to feel flooded, when we start to go into anxiety, fight, flight, panic, it's all the same stuff, it's all activation. And until you realize what it is and where it's coming from in your brain, you're always going to be a slave to it. You're always gonna be a slave to it and the strong emotions that come with it. So we also make bad decisions when we're driven entirely by emotions. And a lot of this, again, is this conditioning where we need to respond quickly but we're also really primed up and told to do what feels right. If it feels good, do it. Just do it. Follow your heart. You know, <sighs> and in all cases, that is really bad advice because you have an entire system at play and emotions are very fickle and they come and go and they are dependent on biochemistry and other things going on in your life, sleep, nutrition, exercise, old history, old patterns, of your childhood, your family. So unless you have picked and teased all this apart in your life and understand how you're wired up together and can take a step back every time you're hit with something like that, you're going to be like most of us where you're in this really easily reactive, easily defensive um, state. And that's where you're going to make bad choices and you're going to make choices based on high emotion regardless. Never make a decision. Never make a decision when you're in fight or flight, when you're in panic mode or when you're feeling high sympathetic arousal or high activation, anxiety, all of those things mean the same thing. Never make a decision from that place because that place is these alarms from your brain that are false, that are trying to get you to initiate a response to relieve the discomfort. Their job, all of that, that whole process is to get you out. It's leading you out, flight. Do not be a slave to that process because it will cause you to engage in, in fight mode or actually to flee situations, no matter what they are. And relationships is the most common one we see this in um, because it's geared to get you to feel more comfortable. We cannot tolerate any more feeling discomfort of any kind. We've lost the ability to kind of process things and sit with stuff and work things through our brains are now wired to be reactive and to get out of anything that doesn't feel good. We don't like it. We want to get out of it. That part of your brain is trying to get you to do it and it will feel good. Here's the trick. If you listen to it, if you respond to fight or flight, if you respond to high emotions and you are bolting out of things that are uncomfortable, <laughs> it will actually long-term create more activation because you will have regret. Uh, but it isn't connected with what actually is best for you. It feels good because you're relieving the discomfort temporarily. It doesn't feel good long-term and it doesn't serve you long-term. So really the way around this is to be able to take a step back. No decisions made in that state allowed whatsoever. And furthermore, 24 hours between making any big decisions, never make decisions unless you're in a calm, grounded, and content state. However long that takes, and whatever you need to do it. That's where you need to make your decisions from because those decisions are gonna be strategic and tactical and they're gonna be aligned intellectually, emotionally, and with your gut. They're all gonna line up and that's when you make the best decisions, not just for this moment, which you might have to stay and be uncomfortable in for a while, but for the next year to five indefinite, as you look at what you want in your life and who you wanna be and who you wanna be with, those are things that you have to look long-term for. You have to step back and have a wide angle lens to look at those areas of your life and think, the decisions I'm making today, are they gonna serve me next year, two, five years, or for the rest of my life in the goals that I've set for myself? Because your reactivity is not gonna serve your long-term goals. It's gonna serve your short-term goals to get the out of that situation. So 
the first thing to know is how that works in your nervous system and that you are wired that way. You need to know that to depersonalize it because otherwise it's going to feel very strong. The impulses are strong, the emotions are strong, and you're going to feel like it's the right thing to do. Know that this is a survival instinct that's gone awry in our society, in your nervous system, and that that is not the right approach. Now this is different if you're dealing with actual threats or threatening people totally different process, but if we're just talking about decisions that you need to make and you're feeling this rise of activation, don't make those decisions, don't react, don't do what feels good in that moment. Take some time to regulate your nervous system, come from a calm place, calm place, learn what it's like to make decisions from that alignment where everything feels regulated and grounded, and learn to be self-serving. What's gonna serve me and my goals who I want to become, who I want to be with, what I want to do, not in this moment, but long term, and then start making your decisions strategically. Try that out. Take some time. Learn how to regulate. Know how your fight or flight works. Stop calling it your anxiety. This is just a process that we're all dealing with. You can depersonalize it and you can really take control of your life. This, making decisions this way, avoids regret and lets you feel way more in control, you feel way calmer going forward, you build confidence, and you start this ripple effect of making calm, grounded, confident, regulated decisions that really do get you where you need to be. Slow is actually fast. You get where you want to be faster without regret. Notice when this is happening in your own body. Start learning how to take a step back. Press the pause. There's no rush. And make good decisions for your life. This is how you avoid the bad decisions that you make by being hyper-reactive and hyper-emotional don't always do what feels right in the moment. Do what is going to be good for you for long term. I hope this helps. Until next time.